Larry here. Welcome to each and every one of you back to Larry's Fountain Pen. And I'll be your host today. I'm going to give you an update review on the famous Conklin All-American. For those who've just joined in to my channel, may not be aware or heard of the Conklin, but uh, even if you have or haven't, Let's just go over the Conklin one more time. And here is this beautiful fountain pen. Conklin came out during the 1930s at the dawn of the Great Depression. So they launched a more affordable pen to the public. That was a good idea and a good move from Conklin. So this pen... It's called the Raven. Beautiful pen. I, I, I love the color of the pen. The weight of the pen is 31 G's and the length of the pen closed is 144 millimeters and it does unscrew and it does post securely and in this position it's going to come in lengthwise 168 millimeters. Uh, the nib is a black nib, but it's a bonk nib. And let me show you the difference. The your regular basic All American Conklins are going to come in with a Conklin nib, and the, the, probably maybe a Joe Not sure on that, but uh, this edition, a special edition for Goulet pens, came out with a bonk nib. And I've been wanting to try the bop nib to see if it was a big improvement over the Conklin basic nibs that they carry. And you know what? I'm glad I did. Really, the bop nib totally rocks on this pen. A smooth nib, nice and wet. So, and the material used on the pen say is European high grade of resin and this is a cartridge or a converter and let's unscrew the barrel and it comes with the converter and what I like about this converter it screws in so you don't want to try to pull it out it screws in and screws out so make sure that you just don't try to be yanking on it because you'll tear up your converter and maybe knows what else. But uh, this cannot be an eyedropper because you've got steel components here that the converter goes into. Okay? So no eyedropper. Beautiful black nib, like I said. Really, I'm just a fun writer. And the ink that I'm using in this pen is the Noodler's Base State Blue, one of my all-time favorite blues, which I started out back in 2015. When I That was one of my first inks, and I've, I've been in love with it. I've heard all the horror stories about it, but luckily, I'm good on that myself. For folks who like a larger pen, that's me. A pen that stands out in a crowd but still fits a small hand like I have. I have small hands and it fits my hands nicely. And the cap and the barrel are tapered for a perfect balance. So it fits really nice in the hands. I have small hands. I like large pens. They both get along real fine. I have wrote for an hour maybe longer, writing letter after letter with the pen, testing it out, testing my hands out. They get tired, What? nothing. It was just a perfect match for pen and small hands. So if you have large hands, this will be adequate as well. And the nib sizes come in fine, medium, and stub. Again now, uh, the nib on your basic Conklin's All-Americans come, as you see it here. You got a good close-up, and it has Conklin on the nib. Uh, 
But there was people cl complaining about the nib. They were having problems with it. Either it was scratchy or uh, it wasn't wet, blah, blah, blah. So I believed how the story went. I could be wrong. Goulet Pins reached out to Conklin. They bonded together and came out with this Bach nib exclusively for Goulet Pins. I'm glad they did. Perfect move. Love this nib to die for. It is a sweet nib. So, I hope this update on this beautiful Conklin All-American Raven has been helpful. Now, let's go over here on the Rhodia blank paper and do some writing. You can post this pen, like I said, if you want, and you don't have to. I'm just going to use it without posting. Okay? Here we go. This is a box. Medium nib and noodlers. And we'll do some writing. And we'll just do a little swirls here for you. And we'll do the wet check. And this pin is really nice and wet. It does lay out the ink, but as you can see, witness, it is just about out of ink. And that is my last push because... Once it's done, then I'll clean it out and put it to bed for a little while. I've been using it, oh, I don't know, what, over a month. But it is a nice, smooth, wet ink, which I nib, which I really, really enjoy using. Reverse. And it's a bit scratchy for that, so I'm not going to push it on that. So there you have it, my friends, the Conklin All-American Raven. A really great pen. And I believe you can buy these, they're, I think, under 70 bucks, maybe. Maybe 75 I'm not sure. You have to check on whatever site you want to go to and check out the prices and check out all the different colors they have. And I have some others. If you want to see some other colors, leave your comments below. And I uh, will be more than glad to, to do that for you. Here in the barrel, uh, they have engraved the Conklin uh, trademark. And this is trademark Conklin Toledo, Ohio, USA, All-American. Really nicely done there. And on the clip, they have Conklin on there. And they call this the rocker arm. Look at that. Because back and forth. So easy. So when you want to put it on your pocket... Well, you're done, right? Cool. Now, that takes care of that. Onward. Hit that like button if you found the review helpful, interesting, fun, peace, love, and share it with your friends. That's a big help for me. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, keep warm, and please remember, don't text and drive. Talk to you later. Goodbye.